Right, let's have some fun playing the blues today. Okay, there's so much you can learn with the blues. There's a million different things you can do. But we're just going to do some fun stuff. I'm going to give you a little workout, I'll show you how it all works, and do a variety of different things. We're going to play some simple little riffs, some scale stuff, some melodies, and some really cool chord jams. Okay, stuff like this. And then licks as well. Okay, and we're going to do some triplet rhythms. Okay, there's loads of different things we're going to cover and we're going to just have a bit of fun. Right, okay. So, there's more as well. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to do is a nice simple blues shuffle kind of riff. And all that is is first fret low E, pluck that twice. Second fret of the D, pluck that once. Open D. So, four plucks. And repeat. It. Okay, then we're going to move it down the string and do the same thing. So third fret of the A, pluck that twice. Then second fret of the G, pluck that once. Open G. And repeat. And then back to the G. And then to the C. So, okay, that's the first little thing we're going to do. Then the next thing we're going to do is practice the blues scale in G. This is all in G, this workout, by the way. I'm just going to do that nice little groovy kind of like way of playing the scale. And all it is is third fret low E, sixth fret of the low E, and then third, fourth to fifth on the A, then third to fifth on the D with a bit of vibrato. A way to practice your vibrato, which is obviously really important in the blues. We're going to do that. Okay, then the next thing we're going to do is this little lick. Okay, so lick, I've loved playing like for like 20 years or something, I've played that lick. It's just something that's always been in the back of my mind that I go to. Then we're going to go to this lick, which is basically this. So lick I've played for a long time, I really enjoy, and you know, I'm gonna have to think about exactly how I play it now. But um, here it is, I'm borrowing across the G, B, and high E strings at fret three. Okay, I'm doing a hammer on pull off, three, six, three on the high E. Then I'm doing the same on the B. And then on the G, I'm doing this. I'm doing six, five, three. So I'm doing a double pull off, plucking woods. Six, pull off the five, pull off the three. Plucking five on the G, three on the G. So, with vibrato at the end on that third fret of the G. Alright, okay, then we're going to just do some little picking as well, some chordal based blues, okay. And all we're doing is what I call the outwards pattern, which is the low E, G, B, high E. We're playing it on a G seventh. Okay, which is third fret of the low E string, second fret of the A string, first fret of the high E. Don't actually need that second fret of the A string, because we're not strumming the chord, so you can just play third fret low E, first fret high E. Okay, doing that. Four times. Then we're doing the C7, which is a tricky little chord. Okay, so that's like a C chord with the pinky on the third fret of the G string. Okay, that's the whole workout. And what we're going to do is put a timer on and do 30 seconds on each one of those and just have a bit of fun. I'll do each one slowly and then speed up towards the end so you can keep up with me and it will work at you know, whatever skill level you're at. Keep pressing play, keep trying to work out, set the timer um, for yourself to do it as well, but mostly do it with me because I think you'll get a lot of benefit from that. You can get the rhythms and stuff like that. Right, let's begin.
there you go, that's your workout. I hope you enjoyed that. A bit of a blues fun workout, okay? There are other things you can do. You know, if you want a little bit of a bonus, you can even throw in this, where we do kind of triplets. Okay, a little triplet rhythm workout there, and you can basically play in the blues scale or the minor pentatonic. Sixth fret of the high E, three blocks. Third fret of the high E, three blocks. And then the same on the B. Sixth fret to third fret. Then fifth fret of the G. And there you go, that's your workout. I hope you enjoyed that. A bit of a blues fun workout, okay? There are other things you can do. You know, if you want a little bit of a bonus, you can even throw in this, where we do kind of triplets. That's a nice little triplet workout. Treat that as a bonus. I did promise I was gonna do that at the beginning of the video, so I've thrown it in there as an extra bonus. But you can put it in, you can work these workouts, um, work these workouts in any way, like put them all together, mishmash them, enjoy them. That's all in G. It's a good variety of blues stuff there. It's a lot of fun. And that's what I want you to have on the guitar, loads of fun. If you enjoyed that workout, great. Check out this workout here and you'll enjoy your playing even more, particularly if you like a wide variety of acoustic or electric guitar playing skills. Right, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dan Thorpe and I'll see you in a video soon. If you want more help from me, go to fingerstyle101.com forward slash free. Watch this video now. Right, cheers, bye bye.